Hello, we are in spooky season, so I wanted to do a fall activity related to this, and I decided to show you guys how to carve a pumpkin. All right, so the materials that you will need is first a pumpkin. This is personal preference. I decided to do a small one, but if you want a big one, it works both ways. And I did get this like carve kit. Um, you can go Target or Spirit Halloween and purchase these things, but it's all these like little, it's just these little carve tools that you will need. And then these are like spoons just to scoop out like all the inside of the pumpkin. And then if you want to add like a touch, I did get like these candles that you just like light up and then you can just insert them inside at the very end. So the first thing we want to start off with this pumpkin is you want to cut the upper side first so we can pick it up and then like I mentioned before grab this and get all the X's out so some people get a marker and they just line it up per personally me I just like dug in holes four holes and then I'm just going to get this and just try to like get those holes so we will be tracing around and right after just keep going all around the pumpkin until you hit it the very end and then it should pick up easily like this and then we will be getting the spoon and just scooping all the seeds and all the excess from the pumpkin make sure you have a trash can like right by your side because you will need it and then in here like mentioned we're just getting it has sharp sharp ends at the end of both sides but this one like it's more easy so we're just going to go all around and then we're just going to get all this and we're just going to throw all of that out you should end up with something like this at the end and then like mentioned before some people now we can start carving but like I mentioned before, some people use markers since she is small. Honestly, I'm just going to get one of these smaller ones and I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a smiley face on it. So I'm just going to carve out shapes and then we'll go from there. All right. So this is how it looks so far. I carved out two squares for the eyes and then I'm going to carve like a diamond right here for the nose and then we're going to end up with a smiley face. I just have to trace it out first and then um, we'll carve it. All right, so at the very end, I ended up with this. Like I said, these are two squares. This is like a diamond. And then I did a smiley face. Like mentioned, I did keep this very short and simple because this is a small pumpkin. And I just wanted to go for that vibe. And then at the very end... I have my candle and we're just going to light her up you can this one is obviously real but you can get the um like the plastic ones the ones that just light up like that and you do have to be careful with this honestly all right so i just plopped her in there and it should look like that and then at the very end you're going to put this and it should look maybe I'm gonna turn off the light to see um, so it can look cooler all right so this is my final product and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out because this is my first time do carving a small pumpkin I have carved a big one and I messed up on it so I'm very glad that it came out exactly for what I was going for and she's just really cute all right, so finally, this is how you carve a pumpkin. Does anyone have any questions for me? Can you still paint it? Actually, some people, after they carve the pumpkin, they will paint it. Or if they don't want to carve it, they will just actually just paint. So it goes either or. How long does the pumpkin last? Um, if you keep the pumpkin inside, it will last you a good three to five days. But if you leave it outside, it will last you a little bit longer. 